Good evening friends, this is Bhupendra Singh Rai. Again, I am with you by taking a very interesting topic, Forces and Laws of Motion. So let's we begin friends. And I think that uh, during lockdown, you are in habit of taking a lot of rest. Okay, bye. No friends, I can't leave you alone. Because it's the duty of a true teacher to map your run at the speed to boost up your knowledge. So let's begin the very interesting topic that is forces and laws of motion. Aaj main aap se sirf aur sirf basic concept par baatein karunga. Iske baad wale lecture mein main iske derivatives formula par baatein karunga aur third topic jisme main is topic ko bind up karunga wo hoga numerical sections ko lekar ke. To bane rahiyega, jude rahiyega aur apne doston se share bhi kijiyega. Is lockdown ke period mein aapke paas bahut sari cheeze hain seekhne aur sikhane ke liye. तो दूसरी व्यर्थ की चीजों पर अपना टाइम मत दीजिए सिर्फ और सिर्फ अपनी चीजों पर फोकस करिए सो लेट्स बी बिगिन व्हाट इज फोर्स सो मेनी टाइम्स फ्रेंड्स यू कम अक्रॉस द टू वर्ड्स इन योर बैंक्स इन डॉक्टर क्लिनिक और एनी होटल आल्सो सम टाइम्स यू कम अक्रॉस द पुल एंड सम टाइम्स पुश सो दीस आर द वेरी बेसिक एग्जांपल ऑफ द फोर्सेस नाउ इन प्योरली फिजिक्स हाउ कैन वी डील विद दिस टर्म्स लेट्स बी डिस्कस फोर्स इज एन एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर force is an external factor that can make a body in motion when it is in rest or if a body is in motion then it can stop it or sometime it can may change the shape or size of a body just like see your friends this is a sponge and after applying force there is a great strain in this body so we can say okay, force is an external factor that can change shape and size of the body or in a very precise manner we can say force is an external factor that can change the configuration of a body so friends the very simple concept you come here what is force a force is an external factor which can bring a body is in motion from rest rest mein hai to aap usse motion mein la sakte hain if a body is in motion after applying force after applying force you can make it stop is a rest mein la sakte hain and as i have told you ki this is the balloon after applying force on the different side you can change the shape and size of that object now there are two basic types of forces balanced force and unbalanced force if a body or we can say ki when applying force if the body if body does not change its position from rest or motion then the force is called your balance force so we i have written here there is no change in the state of rest or motion of a body during balance force this is a very simple example of tug of war means rassa kasi jab aap khelte hain to usme yadi rassi ekdam beach point par hai तो उस कंडीशन में हम कह सकते हैं कि वहां पर बैलेंस फोर्स है और इन प्योर फिजिक्स वी कैन से पॉइंट ऑब्जेक्ट और फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डायरेक्शंस वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फोर्सेस एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री एफ फोर इस तरीके से डिफरेंट फोर्सेस अगर किसी पॉइंट पर लग रहे हैं और इनका रिजल्टेंट जो फोर्स है रिजल्टेंट फोर्स अगर जीरो है तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि उस पर बैलेंस फोर्स लग रहा है ऑन द अदर हैंड अनबैलेंस फोर्स when an object experience unbalanced force then in this condition there will be change in the state of rest or motion of a body or we can say ki body is in motion also so another thing in a purely physics we can say if an object is experiencing the force from the different different side by pulling or pushing when apply force this will be downward or during pulling it will be outward so this is f3 this is f4 in this condition hum keh sakte hain f1 plus f2 minus f3 and plus ka f4 does not equal to zero so if the resultant force is not zero then we can say it is a unbalanced force so let's the another aspect is motion it is a common experience on applying force a body shows motion the very important term we are going to familiar with this thing how can we 
check the quantity of motion by its mass or by its velocity many times take our assumptions are very wrong there are two trucks coming with the same speed and when they collide with another body so the uh, the truck which is very heavy it creates a great impact to kai bar aisa hota hai dosto ki hum sirf object ki speed ke zariye uski motion ka sahi se andaza nahi laga sakte to kai bar hum mass ko lekar ke bhi confuse ho jate hain to dhyan rakhiyega if we have to study properly the motion of an object then we have to combine two terms these two terms are mass and second term is velocity so always keep in mind when we study these two terms mass and velocity together to understand the motion of an object this term is known as momentum and denoted by p so in a short we can say p is equal to m into u so this is momentum and we have to discuss in the next topic in a very in a broad manner okay let's we come to the point friends newton's laws of motion in 1686 sir isaac newton produced these laws this shows the relation between the force applied and the motion acquired by an object so jab kisi bhi object par hum force lagate hain to so motion create hoti hai aur inke relations ko hi hum newton's ke three laws ke zariye hum samjha sakte hain the first law the second law and the third law the first law is also known as the galileo's law of inertia galileo's law of inertia what is inertia inertia ko hum log hindi mein generally jante hain jadatv se jad jad means jiski inherent property ho jo cheez jaisi hai wo hamesha waisi ki waisi bani rehti hai what does a body it wants to continue the same thing the same tendency this is called actually inertia so friends we have a three types of inertia the first thing is inertia of rest second inertia of motion and third is inertia of direction so before going through this topic inertia let me discuss what is the statement of the first law that is given by newtons he suggested if a body is in rest it will remain in rest if a body is in motion it will continue its motion unless and until an external force is applied on it agar is palm par maine ye pen rakha hai to ye salo salo tak isi tarike se rahega jab tak ki koi external force laga kar ke ise motion mein nahi laya jaye similarly on inclined plane agar koi object slip ho raha hai to it will continue slipping unless and until there is an external force to stop it to friends isi प्रॉपर्टी की वजह से ये सारे जो रेस्ट और मोशन जो उसका जो लॉज है इसमें वो है इनर्शिया की वजह से इसलिए इस टर्म्स को जानना बहुत जरूरी है तो इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट के एग्जांपल डे टू डे लाइफ में कौन से हैं आइए हम उसको समझते हैं वेन अ बस स्टार्ट सडनली वेन अ बस स्टार्ट सडनली एंड द पैसेंजर हु इज स्टैंडिंग इन इट फॉल्स बैकवर्ड वाई इज इट हैपन लेट सपोज इट दिस इज द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ बस एंड द पर्सन स्टैंडिंग ऑन दिस साइड when a bus suddenly starts from rest when a bus starts suddenly from rest to jab kabhi bhi koi bus rest start karti hai to passenger ka jo lower limb hai kamar se niche ka hissa jo uske contact mein tha wo to turant motion mein aa jata hai lekin jo uska upper limb hai upar ka jo part hai yahan se yahan tak ka ye rest mein hi rehne ki koshish karta hai isi wajah se passenger falls backward another example is sack shaking of branches of the trees when we shake branches of trees leaves and fruits fall down why is it so in the very beginning the whole tree is in rest condition and suddenly we starts what's happened the branches comes into motion but the leaves and the fruits remain on the same position so they pluck it and the leaves and the fruits fall down the third one is beating carpet and bed sheet so many times we have to remove dust particles from the carpets and the uh, bed sheets so we have we give them a great jerk or sometimes we beat them with a stick so what's happened friends in a very beginning 
both the carpets and dust particles are in rest. When we suddenly give a jerk from the stick, what's happened? The cloth of that carpet comes into motion, but the dust particles remain on the same position, so they fall down. So these are some example of the inertia of rest. Similarly, we have some example of inertia of motion, which you will study in your NCRT's books also. The first one is fast moving bus stops suddenly. When a bus is moving very fast and the passenger is standing in it, what's happened? It's fall down forward side. Why it's happened? So what's happened in a very beginning when a bus is moving very fast, when suddenly it stops, the lower limb which is attached to the platform of the bus comes into rest, but the upper part wants to continue its motion. That's why a passenger fall forward. Person jumping out, running train. You come across this incident on the platform when the train is slowly um, uh, slowing down its speed. So many passengers try to come out from the running train. So what's happened? Ticket. When they jump on this point, but what we observe, they fall forward side. So this is the example of your motion. And during car accident, the same thing happened. A car is running on the very high speed and suddenly on applying brake, what's happened? Our body couldn't come into immediately in the rest conditions. It wants to continue its motion. So from windscreen during accidental cases, during windscreen passengers comes outside. Now, the third one is direction. It suggests that if a body is moving in this direction, it, it will continue in the same direction. The very good example of the spreading mud from the vehicles during the rainy season, you can uh, make this experiment on your friends also. The mud guard is the one that is moving in the right direction, the mud is moving in the right direction, and the clothes get bigger in the back. And the car moving on the wrong, you can experience this also in the when a car is moving and suddenly it reaches a ground and when it takes a round, it takes a round. What's happened? You shifted towards the another side, opposite side of your seat because the car is moving this one. The, suddenly it is running in this direction when it takes this one. So you move in this direction. And the third one is sparking of the sand pepper wheel for uh, your knife or scissors, you make it sharpen, you can observe this incident also. So friends, the first law, you can very easily understand, okay, if a body is in rest, it will remain in rest. If a body is in motion, it will continue its motion unless and until an external force is applied on it. It's all because of the inertia. Now, let's discuss the second law of motion. Second law of motion suggests that the change in rate of momentum is directly proportional to applied force. Change in momentum, change in momentum. I have already told you momentum is denoted by P, the change. Whenever you have to show slight change, it is denoted by delta sign or del we can say. So del P shows the slight change in momentum. But when I say change in rate of momentum, it means the rate is always taken with the respect of time, the change in rate of momentum is directly proportional to applied force. Change in rate of momentum is directly proportional to applied force. This is also very important law in day to day life where you come across this law. So friends, the very simple example, catching cricket ball. What's happened? Take it. When you catch cricket ball, so you withdraw your hands backside. So what's happened actually, when it comes on your palm, it creates a great force. And according to this law, what's happened, when you withdraw your hands, the time of action increases. When the time increases, forces decreases. When the time is increases, forces decreases. So it is very easy for a fielder to catch the ball. Second is on the mud flow. If you have spent your some days in village area, you can come across this mud floor. On this vitrified floor or in a granite floor, what's happened? Cockroach is easily broken down. But in the village area, there are mud floor. So you can observe that cockroach 
are not broken very easily. You can see there are shock cups are provided in your vehicles also so that you can get little jerk. In circus practice net, you have observed there is a very large net and the people, those who are making their uh, masterpieces on very height. So when they fall down, when they fall down, so what's happened, the time increases, that's why there will be very less force. So they didn't, they didn't get any hurt. In the same, you can see the cushions are provided for the players of the judo players and the seat belts are little bit flexible during any jerk in the um, bad road conditions what happened actually your body is little bit moves further and backward so what's happened to bear that force the time increases and when the time increases your force decreases so this is the example of the second law of motion and the third law the very simple every action has opposite and equal reaction agar koi body a hai किसी दूसरी बॉडी बी पर कोई फोर्स एक्सर्ट करती है तो बी बी उस पर कोई ना कोई फोर्स अप्लाई करेगी मींस वी कैन से एफ वन टू एफ टू वन माइनस साइन शोज द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्सेस अचीवर सो द वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल इफ आई थ्रो अ बॉल ऑन द वॉल आई फाइंड दिस थिंग सो दिस इज द रिबाउंड ऑफ द रिबाउंड ऑफ द बाउंसिंग बैक ऑफ द बॉल वॉकिंग ऑन द रोड जब आप रोड पर चलते हैं फ्रेंड्स तो उस कंडीशन में भी आपका पैर अर्थ पर पुश करता है जिसकी वजह से आपकी बॉडी पर एक होरिजेंटल फोर्स लगता है जो आपको आगे मूव करने के लिए हेल्प करता है रिकॉलिंग ऑफ द गन फ्रेंड्स वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल एंड यू कम अक्रॉस दिस इज द टॉय गन इन विच इफ आई लोड इट एंड वेन आई शूट समथिंग आई गेट लिटिल बिट जर्क ऑन द बैक साइड रिकॉलिंग ऑफ द गन वेन द बुलेट कम्स फॉरवर्ड दिस इज action and recoiling is reaction now the third one is man in the boat you can see this on a pond or any reservoir when you have enjoyed your boating also ki jab kabhi bhi koi aadmi boat se niche utarta hai to jaise hi wo boat se bahar nikalta hai to boat ko apne ek paon se push karta hai aur dusre se wo bahar ki taraf usko aane mein help milti hai jet and rocket launching ke cases mein bhi yahi hota hai there is a lot a lot fuel during propulsion and during their launching period so what's happened all these all these fuels burns very rapidly and this give the great thrust downward and it helps to move upward so jet and rocket propulsion of their launching is also the good example of your third law of motion and the last one is fireman hose pipe in the cases of uh, any fire accident and when the fire extinguishing Uh, vehicles which is there to calm down the fire with their hose pipe so they hold it very tightly because when the water comes out very rapidly it gives a backward push so friends i hope ki jo maine is topic mein aapko pehle hi samjhaya tha ki aaj main sirf aur sirf basic concept par kaam karunga aapko bahut acche se samajh mein aaya hoga and it's my again the very humble appeal with you अगर आपको अच्छा लगता है तो अपने दोस्तों को जरूर इस वीडियो को शेयर कीजिए ताकि वो लोग भी कुछ ना कुछ सीख सके तो डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम इन दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड और कल या परसों मैं आपसे इसी टॉपिक के जो डेरिवेशंस जो हैं वो मैं आपके सामने लेकर के आऊंगा थैंक यू वेरी मच